Have you gotten tired of the same old, same old gameplay in Ghost Recon Breakpoint? If you're still playing the game about a year later, despite all the lack of polish and stuff, probably not. But if you still want to add a little bit of spice to the game, then role playing is definitely the way to go. So why not give this new build inspired by the trauma team from cyberpunk 2077 a try let's get into this you guys so in cyberpunk um 2077's universe trauma team is a heavily armored and very aggressive emergency medical squad that will always swoop in to save their high paying clients from any danger at any cost unfortunately with the exception of the newer resistance missions in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, um, the rest of the rescue missions in the game leave a lot to be desired. So for this build, I just kind of end up making Trauma Team a really, really aggressive support unit. Trauma Team's mission on Aroa is going to be to gather any and all resources for their ghost brethren. This includes weapons, blueprints, scale credits, and even freeing the occasional hostage from Sentinel. The class you should use for this build is the Medic, since this team is probably going to be consistently on the front lines, especially with how I decided to set this build up. Um, and pretty much you want to play the Medic class because this build is going to need to absorb a lot of damage and they're going to need to recover a lot quicker than other teams um, when things go wrong. So for perks, you definitely want to go with the inspired perk which will restore some of your health every time an ally get, gets a kill. You want to go with feel no pain for injury resistance and cold blooded for health regen speeds now you can obviously play around with these perks a little bit but i feel like these specific three that i mentioned um will give you a pretty good balance especially if you get some good weapons going with them they'll pretty much make you into a tank that can take a lot of damage and recover from damage pretty quick um, so moving on to the weapons, the weapons that I found the most useful for this class were the MK48 compact machine gun for, you know, the all out big gun fights and stuff. That's what you want to have on you um, pretty much for most of the time with this class. And then the other one that I found real useful was the MK17 Assault. This pretty much, especially with the silencer, is going to be what you use for the occasional stealth situation. And it's also just a really well-balanced, good-ranged weapon. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's really um, better for the more refined approach if you ever need that um, while playing this build. Now, for tactical gear, you want to stick with the rocket launcher and grenades. These are going to pretty much come in handy a lot with this build, um, especially since, once again, Trauma Team isn't exactly a stealth-focused build. Um, but they're, they're going to be doing anything it takes to get to um, different resources and the chest around the island and stuff. So you definitely want to have these stuff on them because they might even... Okay, you might even occasionally challenge some of the bigger drones on the island such as the behemoth and stuff like that um, Playing this build trying to get to some of that special loot. So you definitely want to be packing some extra firepower Now the trauma team Lastly, but not leastly trauma team will only use stealth when there's no other option This is not a stealth build guys. This build is strictly open firepower so um for most of the time this squad has no problem mowing down rows of enemies thanks so much for watching this video you guys hey 
Did any of you know that I was making a Cyberpunk 2077 comic of my own over on Webtoons? It's 100% free. It's a fan-made comic that I'm making for the community to kind of help build the hype for Cyberpunk 2077. And depending on how much support it gets, it might even continue on past um, Cyberpunk 2077's release along with we might also even get more comics like this from me in the future um, just to kind of help get my name out there and just to kind of start moving the channel in that really really professional direction that I kind of want to eventually start to take it so it will be a great help to me if you guys went over there and supported me for free just by viewing the comic and telling me what you guys think about it so thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave those likes and comments down below tell me what you thought of the build i had a lot of fun making this build for you guys so hopefully you all enjoyed it but anyway thanks for watching everyone i will see you guys on the next one zfr out guys